Hey, I hope you're having a great summer. I just got back from Northern Italy and uh, it is absolutely a pleasure serving everybody. Uh, there's a lot of people that are preparing for a phenomenal summer and we've been shifting and, and doing vision and hero's journey and stuff for everybody to get in this really great space. Um, I would like to ask if you don't mind going over uh, to my uh, Instagram page and letting me know that uh, you uh, and just say hi and I'll follow you. Uh, what happened was is that in February I got hacked. I got in, <clears throat> got a, a phishing email. I want to show it to you because I want to tell you the story in case you can also be aware in case this happens to you. I lost 14 years of photographs from my family because of this incident and the Instagram account and all of the thing that we've invested in that just completely got suspended. So um, yeah, so if you want the short version, we created a new account uh, and I would love if you could uh, come and like it and I'll tell you the story now of how it got hacked. So the if you go, uh, this is the new account, Brent.Bruning. So please come over, say hello, and uh, and then I'll I'll uh, I'll follow you back. Okay, I've dropped it down. Uh, if you've been unfollowed by me, uh, my apologies. We're building up the list again, so I just unfollowed everybody, and I went right in, and I'm and I'm wanting to follow the people that particularly are the uh, my customers. And how this happened was really tricky. I was in the middle of, in February, of um, <clears throat> the, the loss of, of uh, my mother. And in the process of a telephone call, I got this email here. And I'm trying to do two things at once. And I see this email that says, your page may be unpublished because it violates Facebook pages terms. This means you can still see the page, but other people won't be able to see it. And you won't be able to add new people. This is a mistake appeal here. And notice it says www.facebook.com. Like, wow, they were really good there. Uh, Facebook.com and copyright violation, right? So uh, there was no reason, at least in the brain, and I usually sniff this stuff a mile away. There's no reason for me to even think this, but I did have the due diligence to go in and ask my, my team, hey, is this page down? And they wrote back, it looks like you just need to fill it in. So I filled it in and guess what? I gave them my login details. And while I'm on the call with my brother, immediately we're in the middle of like talking about family stuff and I'm seeing my page come up, my Facebook page come alive and they're putting child porn onto my site. And I'm just looking in horror going, Todd, uh, hold on, I think something's happening. And then it, posts it and then immediately I get flagged and says you're you're no longer part of um, uh, Facebook and I can't get anywhere and I'm thinking this is absurd I'm sure I can just uh, uh, show them I've got 14 years of family history and they would understand and what was interesting is that an hour before that I was also being attacked now I don't ever get attacked but what I was getting attacked for was a guy who uh, whose hand I've read is um, uh, Gurji uh, Vishwananda, and you can go onto my YouTube channel. You can see this uh, this video of how I met him, and also explains. You know, I was able to guess his fingerprints before meeting him, and he was impressed by that, and then invited me down while I was um, at one of his. Um, uh, the first uh, time I was over at one of his festivals, he's got like 50,000 followers. And uh, he ultimately uh, invited me the day that I uh, got my book published. So it was a real magical time for me. So I have nothing negative, but he's got some press on him. And, um, and some of the people, some people out there have it in for him. So they were coming at me because I have this video that's an informative video about how the hand works and how this re represents itself through spirituality. And so, um, you know, I got asked to, to get the, uh, put this video down. I was like, no, 
No, it's just information, right? I'm not, it's not a proponent that I'm a follower of Gurji. Uh, I think he's an amazing guy. If you want to find a great book about just love, he's got a great uh, book about it. Uh, I've never seen somebody, I mean, there's some really good uh, self-development growth there. So I stand by, um, you know, my support for uh, the, how his, his interpretation, the Bhagavad Gita and uh, and that that book, they stand. I don't care what he's done, but I really stand by what goes in that interpretation. So whatever the case is, uh, I get this email and I, I was getting attacked where uh, you you need to uh, uh, turn your um, turn your channel or we're going to turn your channel off. Right. And then right after that, I get this Facebook um, link. I'm not sure if the, those enemies of Gurji happen to be the same ones that send me that link, but what would be the payoff of sending me and going through all of the work to send uh, and, and put down a page or put down a personal account? So anyway, um, I can usually sniff this a mile away, but because I was in a uh, difficult uh, telephone call, I got, I, got, uh, um, I, I, I got hit. And what surprises me is that Facebook didn't even take that as a uh, as an op option. They didn't even take it. They they it was COVID time, and after that, it automatically after two months of no review, after I was chasing it, chasing it, and trying to go through it, they suspended the account. No option. I've tried to even buy uh, um, Oculus uh, headphones for the metaverse. Still. That support line said you need to go to, to the other account and the other account won't uh, it, it review. So seriously, a multi-million dollar Facebook company has no support for this type of situation. If you lose your digital assets due to something silly like this uh, and it's flagged and, it's, and they, they simply don't, uh, 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 really surprisingly um, in an almost alienating fashion made me wonder what I should do if I ever want to be involved with Facebook again or Instagram for that matter. So that's why there's been a delay since February on this because I've been a little bit miffed about how Facebook handled this, but I'm over it. I'm in a nice Nirvana forgiving place. Uh, I see the value of bringing everybody back into um, Instagram so that I can post uh, and we have a great plan now. So I've uh, got uh, uh, a great person, uh, my literally my my uh, uh, wife's cousin, who's incredible with uh, Instagram, telling me this is what your public wants, right? So I'm going to be delivering lots of value of of wisdom and how the hands work, and interviewing uh, pretty remarkable people that we have coming up over the over the summer. So uh, stay tuned, YouTube, Instagram, Facebook. It's all going to be uh, uh, and over emails, we're going to be hitting, uh, hitting you with, uh, content. So, um, but you have to, you have to, you know, subscribe on the Instagram to, to get that. So thanks for your understanding. Uh, if I somehow have unfollowed you or am not your Facebook friend, come for, uh, friend me. I'm on both channels now. And I look forward to, um, you know, getting back in touch with you and seeing where you are on your journey and seeing how I, we can uplift you on that path. Okay. Thank you so much. Cheers.